this is the worm tower that we made. It's from an old aeration tank to get sulfur out of water. Um, it was free. So what I did is flip it upside down I, and made these slits down here. And then um, from the inside, put a piece of cardboard down. So this is cardboard. And then I, I got a saw and cut off these two um, prongs. So this fits perfectly on the same pattern. So that after a few months, that cardboard at the bottom is gonna get soggy. And then I can use this to rip that first barrier and uh, worm castings are gonna come down. The reason why we did it from the bottom to the top is worms go up to eat. So what we did is we filled it to here with soil or uh, we just got a bunch of stuff from the woods, pine needles and stuff, some sand to help the worms digest. But we filled it up to here and um, fed the, put a bunch of red wiggler worms. They're composting worms and uh, they eat at the top surface. So as they're, they were eating for a couple months, they were feeding from the top, from up here. And, uh, and they're going up, 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 and we keep on adding in more soil. And the worms are constantly eating through it all and going, moving up, up, up. Now, once it's up here, this thing is gonna be ready. So this has been about seven months. So down here, this cardboard is soggy. Now we can harvest the worm castings, which is essentially the worm poop. Um, and this method allows us to not um, have to sort through our worm pile, take the worms out or do something like, you know, put a banana on one side of the worm bin and hope all the worms move to that side. This is um, essentially, there won't be any worms down here because like I had mentioned, these specific worms go up to feed. So um, this will be straight worm castings. So we're gonna harvest that and then I'll show you how to multiply those with um, making vermicompost tea. So we're gonna take all those microbacteria from the um, inner side in, um, insides of the worms while they're eating they're making these microbacteria we're gonna take all of that which is great it's good rich soil and then we're going to multiply it and make it um, more easily applicable by converting it into liquid okay so now we are taking the worm castings and we're putting them in a bag. Usually you could do a cloth bag. This was the only bag I found laying around, but it's just to hold in um, the, all of the um, debris so it doesn't fly everywhere. It didn't do a too good job. <laughs> holes, are, holes are pretty big. And then I put in aeration stones at the, the bottom, and these are usually for aquariums. This is a little pump. It, um, those are like 15 bucks on, on Amazon. And then fill this five gallon um, up and then use this um, molasses to feed the, it's the sugar to feed the microbes. So when they're in there multiplying, we let this sit for two days. They're in there multiplying and eating, eating this sugar, getting aeration. And then I also mix half a cup of rock dust, azomite, that, um, um, that has tons of minerals and I mix that in there as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this, use a hand watering can to water plants, um, or you can plug it into a fertigation system where it sprays it all over your field or plants. This is the worm castings. So this stuff is still really good. Uh, I'll probably go put that on, uh, uh, put it over here on this phenomenon um, and pour that out later. But now what we're gonna do, so with this, what I have over here is a, um, a fertigation system. So it, with a Venturi, they're called, these pumps, they suck in um, while there's a, there's a suction right here and it'll suck in this tube while there's pressure um, going out. So I have this um, fertigation system set up to my, uh, my two areas of, um, of irrigation and it kind of is, a, is something in the middle between the well and the, the end point of the irrigation that I can plug in and then it's gonna suck in the um, worm compost. So 
that way it's all automatically done i just let that run and then we're finished but what i'm going to show you today which is even easier than this is i actually got this dial and spray um and i just extended this hose and put a little um, filter at the bottom so i'm gonna just put this on my hose and then put this down in this bucket of the compost tea and then we'll go over um to the banana circle And then I'll show you. Now, what this does, it has the same kind of um, the thing that I was explaining where it sucks it in. So you'll see the compost tea is actually gonna go through this. I, I do it at a, um, an eight out setting. It's gonna go through this. And you can see it's, it's sucking up. So it's mixing with the water going out here. And what this is gonna do then is spray all these micro bacteria all over this. They're kind of like the construction workers that you bring to your site at first. Um, and they're gonna start working for us as uh, employees and, and converting all of the um, compost and, and uh, whatever we have in here. We have like Amazon cardboard boxes and stuff. It's gonna start breaking down all of that um, at a microscopic level and uh, and then create um, really rich, fertile soil. So less work for us, just work up front, and then um, we'll do the, we'll spray this once every like month or so. Um, but really what you need to do is just do the first spray. Like I said, it's imagine an empty field, um, which is great, but then there's no construction workers, so nothing's gonna get done on the field. We're now introducing construction workers to start working the process. So there was already microbacteria here as everywhere in nature, but now we're just spraying billions and billions um, all over the place. So we're, we're kind of bum rushing nature onto this, this system right here. And we'll go and spray it on everything else in the food forest and uh, uh -oh. Uh, all over the place.